Hi everyone, we're back again. I have one more um, Christmas winter album to show you. And I made this one as well for Vicki over at FlossyScrapper.com. You guys can go check her out. And she gave me these amazing papers from Fancy Pants. And this is a new collection. Just came out in 2013. And um, this is called Merry Little Christmas. And uh, it's just really pretty vintage type paper. And it's uh, this gray with kind of a green tone. And it's it's kind of rustic looking and it's so so very pretty and uh, I just love these trees it, it's great paper it's fun to work with um, it's got a really nice finish to it and then these little snowflakes I punched these out I have multiple uh, punches but I punched these out of POW paper and um, uh, it's just amazing glitter paper if you have not tried POW paper you must uh, the glitter on here, and I added some over here on the the spine as well. This camera is not picking up the POW. Um, it is so sparkly. Um, if this hits any kind of, it doesn't do so well in in uh, uh, artificial light. Uh, but boy, when it hits even the tiniest bit of natural light, it just sparkles like no tomorrow. And one thing that's really great about POW paper is it does not shed. And it cuts wonderfully in uh, electronic die cutters as well. So there's our cover. And it's kind of a chunky little mini. And here you can see it from the top here. So she wanted kind of a Christmas countdown. And she gave me uh, lots of embellishments that went with this. And here's the... Um, the, the envelope pack, the little policy envelope pack, and I added this. This is a Martha Stewart punch here, and this was done on shimmer paper. And here's one of the envelopes, and here's one of the little die cuts. And these have a texture. They're like, um, it's kind of a linen-y. It's uh, more of a, a material feel uh than anything and of course this one you know you can open this up and I don't have anything in it but you can stick things inside there and then each one of these pages and this is kind of um a mix of multiple uh, of multiple uh styles of my albums uh in order to fit all of the wonderful embellishment she gave me so here we have a little book and I think this was from it was a pack of, I think, four or five, five or six of these uh, large die cuts. So for little, good little girls and boys, little boys and girls, rather. And so I just made it a little booklet. And look at this great chevron. Look at how pretty. Look at the detail on there. It's so very rustic. Oh, and it came with this whole roll of tickets. These little ticket stubs, and which are so popular right now, so super cute, and just tear them off and stick them down. And inside each one of these pages is one for every day of December, counting up to uh, Christmas Day. And so here is day one, and I just left it blank on the back, but there you could add up you know, two full pictures there or, you know, a nice picture, some journaling picture on the back, however you want to do it. But you have a lot of space for each and every day of uh, December counting up. And so they kind of stagger down. And these I cut out on my uh, silhouette. Uh, if you can see, let's see if I can get these up there. The uh, And I backed them with black. And so I just glued them on. You can see how those are attached there. So you've got four in each one of the pages. And and they kind of stagger out here. That first one is not going in all the way. There we go. It's a lot to get four tags in a pocket. <laughs> I had to make the pockets uh, extra large to, to accommodate them. So this turns over here. And then we have these cute little buttons. They're like little pins, and they hold um, the little flap in, and so it doesn't flop around. And here's another one of those tickets. And so we've got, you know, pictures of journaling right there. And then that can just push down right there, and it can tuck under. 
And over here we have these little envelopes, these, these thin little envelopes. They're so, so cute and delicate. And here's from um, one of the noteworthies, die cuts. Again, it's kind of a linen fabric texture. And then here's some tags. Isn't that cute? And I just tied the little, tied them into bows at the top, seeing as it's Christmas. And those just slip in there. But you can see um, how beautiful these tags are. Look, you can see the tag right through there. Isn't that just so delicate and beautiful? I just love it. So over here, we have another one of the tickets over here. And then I pop this one up with a little bit of a dimensional film. And then this little envelope here is kind of blending in. But this one, of course, opens up as well. And you can put a little something, a little memorabilia in there. But I also made it to where the it was also a pocket. So we've got a little tag here. And again, it's tied into a bow. So that slides in there. And then we've got five, six, seven, and eight. And I, I'll go ahead and show them to you. So there's some music paper, holly, and look at this. I think that's a quatrefoil. Very pretty. And then here's a stripe, just a, a kind of a tattered. You can see how it's kind of vintagey and tattered on the edges. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And uh, so those just go together again. And it's easier to get them all in at once, pull them all out at once, and put them all back in at once. <laughs> So then we come over to this page and we have Dear Santa Claus or S Claus. <laughs> and then we have another one of these uh, envelopes, which is so cute. A little tag that comes out. Does this one have anything on it? No, it's just red. So that slides in there in that little bag. And here's one of the little ticket pieces. And this one opens up. And gets held back down again. And over here we have um, another little booklet. Holiday memories. Warm our hearts on the coldest of days. And then here we have another piece of the um, Noteworthies. Or what's similar to Noteworthies to me. And again, kind of a fabric texture here. And uh, another one of the little ticket pieces. And I pop this one up on Dimensional. And these are my dimensional pockets that are on um, three of the six pages in here. If they're not on every page. And uh, then we have 9, 10, 11, and 12. Look at this Santa Claus. Isn't he cute? I'm really loving this paper. Uh, Fancy Pants has really been doing just a knockout job this year. Um, I wasn't a big fan of them last year, but boy, I am this year. Of course, maybe my tastes are changing. I'm not sure, but I know a lot of people that are being impressed by, by Fancy Pants. And so here we have another one. We have another envelope here. And it's got a little tag with some holly, kind of distressed. Super cute little bow that slides in there. And then we have another one of the little uh, die cuts. And I pop that up a little bit. And ho, ho, ho. And this one flips out. Whoops. And this is cute little, um, it's like toy factory type paper. Isn't that cute? Love that paper. So I used mainly um, the 6x6 pack uh, to make this. Uh, I only used, I think I did, this is, this has so many. It has 24 of these inserts. So it took up a lot of paper. Um, it was a 36 pack, uh, but because it has all of these 24, you know, one full 6x6 for uh, each day, I did have to supplement it with, I believe, five sheets. So it was a 6x6 and five 12x12 12 12 sheets in order to make this. And a lot of cardstock. It used about 40 sheets of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So if you're going to make an album like this, you better be getting your cardstock for, for uh, a good price because you're going to need a lot of it. 
Um, and it's, again, it's mainly because of these cards. It's because there's 24 of these going into the pockets. That's what really takes up a ton of cardstock. But it also gives you a ton of space to, to put in a ton of photos. So, uh, it balances. Totally worth it if, if you can use it. And so again, this one opens up like that. And it's, dear Santa, I can explain. <laughs> And uh, we've got, again, I turned this uh, this big uh, envelope into a pocket in itself. And so we've got a little tag there. And then I'm going to hurry up along here. And this was that same paper I showed you before. We have some dots. And then we have the kind of countdown. This is These are 6x6 six six pieces, or from the 6x6 six six pack, rather. Look at the little Merry Christmas down there. Super cute. And we will put these back in. And then on. I'm going to hand these off to her today. And so I wanted to make sure I got a quick video to show you guys. Got to share. Uh, so over here, look at how cute this is. I think this is my favorite page. Look here, we have the Merry Christmas down here. And we're getting a little bit of a glare. But look at how great this page is. Isn't that so cute? And we've got this this tree again, kind of a fabric. And then I added the little star on there. And we have this cute little thin envelope with a tag. So cute. I'm just loving those little envelopes. And then, of course, it pops out. Oh, and here's the rest of that, that page that I like so well. Isn't that sweet? So that closes up. And over here we have uh, another one of those, um, the, the large die cut pages, kind of like a stamp. And then that's just a booklet. Dimensional pocket. And uh, here's another piece of the die cut. Again, kind of fabric linen-y, jelly old elf, and then we have four more, and look, here's the, this is uh, the six by six of what I used on the front cover, of course on the front I used the uh, 12 by 12 sheet, but how cute, huh, isn't that pretty, and it's kind of like a, a greenish gray, uh, very soft colors, very, very soft, um, vintage it's it's a really great mix of feeling it's got a very vintage feel but with the color palette it feels very on trend um just it's just fun stuff and you can see how chunky this is getting you can see with all of the everything that I'm adding in there this is probably one of the chunkiest books I've ever made most of my <laughs> <laughs> I usually have a, more of a minimalist approach, but this one just had so many wonderful embellishments, I had to put them all in. And so here we have another one of the little envelopes, and this pulls out. we got a little tag. And then down here, this is the, the little button that matches this paper. And that flips out. More trees. And then we have another one of these little envelopes, and that is a pocket as well. And you can open that up. Another little ticket. And here are 21, 22, 23, I love that one, and 24. And so we're up to... December 24th here with this pocket and then uh oh we got the tag falling out here and then we get back here to uh, the last page and it says visit from St. Nicholas and it has the little 25th button and I popped him up uh, the little Santa super cute just love this and it says are you re uh, do you recall here Look at that cute little skinny, skinny reindeer. It's a skinny Rudolph. <laughs> Quite comical, I think. Um, obviously. Uh, so this opens up here. 
And then over here, because the 25th, we have always so many more pictures on Christmas Day, I made a waterfall. And so I, I put the little 25th here, and I believe I made it to where you could, um, no, I did stick, no, I did. There we go. So I made it to where you could still stick something behind there. So it didn't uh, take up that whole bottom inch of the page. So these just kind of flip up. And there we go. I don't know if you can see them from that distance, but it's all the same papers that we've been seeing. So that's it. So that is the uh, Merry Little Christmas book from Fancy Pants. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that Vicky likes it. And uh, thanks for watching.